that puts the spotlight on topical security issues. I'm your regular guide, Ada Bisson Ononye. On the program today, Nigeria's scorecard on security as the nation celebrates 61 years of independence. Calls for unity in southern Kaduna at burial of recent attack victims. Details of these and more in just a moment. <coughs> Banana Basta! Akimu Damado! Baby Jedo! Baby Jedo! This is Security Scope on AIT. Time for this week's Matter of the Moment. Not so long ago, Nigerians were referred to as one of the happiest people in the world. This was largely attributable to the relative peace and security enjoyed by the people which allowed them to get on with their lives. Things have clearly changed as insurgents, killer headsmen, bandits, kidnappers, and all manner of violent criminals have taken the country by the scruff of the neck, and a lot of the happiness Nigerians used to enjoy has been replaced by fear. Still on the heels of Nigeria's 61st independence anniversary, security scope sought to find out how the recent spate of insecurity has affected the happiness of the average Nigerian and what needs to be done for the people to have their lives back. I am not surprised that we are still standing as a nation in spite of all our crises. It is true that we have had a lot of difficulties and challenges as a nation. But uh, it is not the whole truth if our narrative is only on the negative side. We have to actually be grateful to God that many good things also have been happening in our country, Nigeria. Yes, we do not want the menace of terrorism, banditry, kidnapping, rape, ransom collection and all the things that we have been going through i one of our own schools also is one that has experienced this painful situation where in 121 students were kidnapped from our school and uh, we have been praying and struggling for them to come we are grateful for those who have arrived therefore i can say that in the midst of our pains we keep having reasons to thank god imagine that of 121 students stolen and taken away, 110 have come back. While we are still trusting God for the arrival of the others, we must be thankful to God for those that have come. So, in the midst of our pains, there are always reasons to be thankful. Now, one more reason to be thankful is because human beings are not in charge. God is in charge of Nigeria. He is in charge. Whoever the human being is, he is just an agent or she is just an agent. God actually owns the land. And if we look to God in trust, because the Bible says even the heart of kings are in his hands, we will really have hope. Therefore, I do not want Nigerians to be discouraged. I want them to keep having hope in God, to keep doing our best, the best we can, to keep telling our leaders that we are not satisfied. Concerning security, I've always said, yes, our leaders have said they are doing their best. We thank them for what they are doing because it could have been worse than this, but their best is not enough and they need to do more. That doesn't mean we are not grateful for what they are doing. We are thankful, but we want more to be done. So that's the situation of Nigeria. You keep having reasons to thank God and you keep having 
challenges to engage our leaders to try to meet, to make the nation a better place, because it will really be better. But above all, God is on the throne, and we look to him, and those who look to him, they will never be disappointed. I want all Nigerians to do so. I think as a person, um, to secure a state or a country, people who know, these people who are, who are behind this security situation will be in a better place to handle it rather than commands coming from Abuja to all over the place. So that's why I think there are people like um, the Islamic um, scholar Gome who have been talking. He could see that he has kind of relationship with these people. He knows them. If somebody like people like that are giving um, certain, um, um, certain um, authority to to also look into situation, they are how to handle this situation. It's not um, the, the a, when Buhari said sometime that any security situation that has um, eluded a government more than two weeks is is gone political. So, but this this we don't know where what he's doing right now. This is more than two weeks. So, uh, if if you ask me my personal opinion, I think there's. It's more politics than actually um, the security issue itself. It's something that can be handled. These people can actually be handled. They, we have good generals, very well-trained generals in Nigeria. I, I know some of them. But can they be given the power to do it? That's just that's where politics comes in. Our leaders should learn to celebrate our, our heroes. There's a, there's a clause uh, in our uh, national anthem. We always say, it, we said the, the labor of our heroes past shall not be in vain. We will serve with heart and mind. So as a church, we don't want we want Nigeria to take this, I mean to to borrow from what the church is doing today. We should the church is celebrating her past leaders. And we we will feel that in the country we should also learn to celebrate the labor of our past leaders. You know, Nigeria we easily forget what others have done, what leaders have done. We, we, we want to feel everything. When things are not working today, we forget where we are coming from to yesterday. So I think the country should learn from this. We should celebrate the level of our leaders, believing that, like we heard in the message, there is tomorrow. And there is hope. I know that there is hope for this country. And there is also hope for the church. In spite of what we are passing through, the insurgents, the kidnapping and all not, whatever we are passing through, there is a tomorrow. And I strongly believe, I have a, a, a belief in my heart that tomorrow will be greater. Tomorrow will be greater. And even the, the country, tomorrow Nigeria will be great. The country is getting worse and worse on daily basis. And I think uh, it is time for us to think twice. Most especially, we have every opportunity now to rewrite our destiny. The nation at which we dream of or we dream for in come 2023. Because, and, uh, and to my brothers in the eastern part, honestly, burning houses and destroying properties of our own, the best people around us, I don't think is the solution to it. We really need to, to, to come together, use that very, that, that opportunity, that number, that n great number they are com that the commands to unite together, if need be, to form a political party on their own. And, and let's face the realities. And, and, and just be together for, 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 for good. If our election really counts, it is time for us to kind of unite together and have a very vibrant and a young person that can represent the unity of this nation. At 61, honestly, we are still like, we don't even know what we are doing. And it's, 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 it's just too bad. Just too bad. And pray God help us. And we really need to work together. While we are praying, we need the unity of purpose and also go and register. Come out, vote for the candidate of your choice and defend your vote. It will help us a lot. We must not close our eyes to the reality of the challenges that we are having in our nation. And we should continue to encourage our husbands. Speak the truth to them. Let them know how Nigerians are feeling. And let them take the right actions and encourage them. Motive, export them up. Let's not be deceiving them. Let's speak the truth to them and let's stand in the gap in praying for them that they will succeed. Interesting comments there. Security Scope also believes that there is hope for Nigeria. Also watching Security Scope on AIT time for this week's big issue.
The Airborne State Police Command has rescued a four-year-old girl, Chimwanya Mathias, a native of Iza North Council area of the state, who was allegedly sold by her 22-year-old sister, Peace Mathias, at the rate of 150,000 naira. Peace Mathias, a secondary school dropout, was still separated at the command's headquarters, Bakliki, alongside suspected baby trafficker Ibube Chuku Opara, who is said to be notorious for such racketeering. The incident, according to the police authorities, which happened last week, is this week's big issue. Peace Mathias, a secondary school dropout, was still separated at the command's headquarters at Bakaliki, alongside the suspected baby trafficker Ibube Chuku Opara, who is said to be notorious for such racketeering. The incident, according to police authorities, happened on the afternoon of last Monday. Commissioner of Police Ali Ogaruba narrated that the baby seller, having agreed with the alleged trafficker for a male child, disguised her youngest sister as a boy and sold to the lady. Their game, however, busted when both suspects got involved in a heated argument at a motor park in Abakaliki after the trafficker discovered that the gender of the baby sold to her was different from what she bargained for. The, the trafficker, that is the woman, found out that what she wants was not what was presented to her. She was thinking it's a boy. But unfortunately, by the time she opened his shed, she now found out it's a female. So there was argument between the seller and the buyer. So as a result of which, the two of them were arrested. The sum of 150,000 was recovered. The woman, in her own statement, said well, she needed a male because probably those that she want to sell the child to, they needed a male child. Why peace claimed that she only meant to set a trap for the trafficker? The trafficker admitted that she bought the baby because she was in the need of a male child having lost four of her sons. She meet me when I'm coming back from work. Get to work at the feather one. When I'm coming back, and I, she used to sell puppies. And I buy, I buy one fifty euro. She now told me that she used to buy children, that she used to do it before, that she needs to. She will send one to, one for number one for a people, that she used to do sort of thing before. And I don't think I said that this woman said that she used to do this. And every time that I'm coming back from work, she used to tell me about that. And I said that I will set trap for her. So, so yesterday, she now get me to say that I should come. Let me carry my sister. Let's go HIV test. So three of us now go the test. She said that I, I should just go get. And I meet her. She give me more, 150,000. Know that I never go, that I had somewhere I'm doing her. When she entered Keka, my sister, and I entered, I can be following her, which is from Chipa. He gave one driver that I asked about the woman and told the driver. The driver said that I should start searching all that car, and I started searching immediately. I saw her, and I called the driver that I've already saw, saw, see the woman, that I'm coming, let me go and bring the money that the woman gave me. The woman and told the driver. The, the driver said that she will go and report it to police. The woman told the driver that she no go and report it, that she give hundred and fifty thousand to settle the case. The, the driver said no, that she will not collect any money from her, that she will call the police. That is the reason why that I'm here. You said you set her up. Yes. Who asked you to set her up? Nobody. Why did you even imagine such a thing? And you are saying you want to set her up. That is really business. No, no, and you know it's wrong. I decided to set out now. If you set up, did police ask you to set out? Did you report to police to say, Look, oh, I have a, a syndicate that I want to track with my sister? No, sir. It was last month. I saw that again because it's my custom in the place that I'm selling pork meat. She came to buy pork meat. We were so close, so crazy with each other. One day I asked. Do they normally do adoption in this place? Say yes. She, that she's uh, she's one of them that did it. She had done one. Even right now, the friend was about to do the man. 
I say, how many years you see? He said, it's three years. And now I tell her, okay, go and bring that your friend. She went back home that day. The next day, she came back with a young girl. The girl claimed to be the mother of the poor. And now I asked her, so how do you want to say the poor? He said, you want to just give her the boy because the, the, the husband that married to her disappointed her and she don't have anything to do and she wants to start up a business with the damn man. So I now told her, okay, I am interested. The reason I'm interested is that I lost my former child and the, the last one is a male child. It's about nine years now. I have three children. So now, as I asked her, she now went back to the girl and told me that the girl is interested. The day they came that I should give them money, I could not do it because I was watching them moving from one, one, one place to the other, discussing. I said, I'm no more interested. Throughout that month, I didn't surface again. The next month, I didn't surface again. Reaching last two weeks, Sunday, I asked her, what about that your friend? She said she traveled to Anisha. That they are there. The girl is now living, she's a street girl. She also is a street girl, but she has changed. The girl didn't take care of the girl. This and that, this and that. So she said many things concerning that her friend. Okay, now, can you call her so that I can have? She said, yes, she can call her. Then on Sunday night, she said to the girl, I come to the boy. So she now, she now bring the boy to my shop. I saw the boy. Even people around me saw the boy. So, now I now ask her, go and bring that your friend. She said the, her friend is hanging elsewhere that she cannot come to, to my place to see to see me because she's hiding her face. I said, how can I give her the money? She said she hand the money over to her so that she will not go and give the girl. That is how we do it. That is how we do it until yesterday morning. Yesterday morning by seven o'clock. She, she blocked the board. She brought the boy around preschool gates. I asked her, how are we going about it? We should go and do the test for the boy. We now went to Vanco and do the test for the boy, HIV test, and it's negative. She asked me around 12, I should meet her there to give her money. The same preschool gate, I met her and gave her 150,000, which we shared do. She now followed us together in KK, reaching for the junction. She dropped. As she dropped, I gave her 1,000 naira to come back with a, a bike, man. We now go with KK. We don't know that she's following us, that she's following me and the dog. Uh, mm, we don't know the name, but it's uh, around Sperando Junction. Close to that place, they destroy many buildings. She, I was watching her come. I dropped. As I dropped, I called her. Then why are you following us? I think we have finished and I am traveling to village. That's yesterday morning. I have, I have made up my mind to travel to the village. So now, the girl now told me that she's not interested again. I collected the money. I wanted to go back to the house. She now started begging me. client said she needs that money. She needs it. I should give her that. There's no problem. How to find the money back to her. She can't do it the boy over to me so i now went to Rumchi and paid 600 naira to my village reaching that Rumchi, i saw her again with one driver and the driver asked me you hand over this child to her say she won i point her so pointing her they start they leave us and carry us to the backyard of that Rumchi. the driver now called the police and they arrested us that is how the case was I am not happy because I was not thinking that if you go that way, but had even that the girl with me, she would have come back with, with the, the boy as we stop at spell and do, but she said she needed the money. Well, I did not say so. I only need a match as I have two guys and one boy. The one you have been collecting the you have been taking from where we are. She knew the matter as the mother of both the victim and one of the suspects on her part. Express me feelings now that this your daughter has done this this your first daughter yes what, what, what will you do to her children i don't want to see her again if she, she refuses to learn she refuses to learn how to do anything even to go to school she she, she doesn't want to go to school
and she has done many things to me. She wants to just she wants to kill me in short. Eh? If say that mother will kill but I will even kill her since. But I don't want any problem. Let God judge. I told her anything that you put your hand, eh? That's evil. You will not succeed. And this is it. Meanwhile, police authorities in the state says they have in recent times rescued about 28 underage children adopted in and out of the state, out of which 26 have been reunited with their families. Why two amongst them whose families are yet to identify? Are still in their relative custody. You're still watching Security Scope on AIT. More to come in just a moment. <coughs> Banana Basta! Banana, 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 Banana,